VP, one, two, three, maybe even four. Gotcha. Maybe I'll be the reason why people slow down. Local community. Uh, this is one of four communities that I represent. This is my home community. Went to school right across, along with Wes and my little brother Andy. Heard a lot of us went to school, and so this is our elementary, middle school, and high school here in this area. So it's not getting scout, you know. <coughs> so that's where we are. And then, um, so I'm very grateful that this this came about through um, words last night. But I got the chapter involved and asked to come out and have to, in that way. So I can all get all the staff. We posted work with us in the community that came out to our city. So uh, thank you again for everybody for being here. The contributions that came in, the businesses, the individuals that put their money forward to say this is how we're going to help Navajo. You know, bless them as well and tenfold back to them and their household as well for their contribution in that way, President. 
So with that, you know, Vice President, can you assist me with a, a prayer in that way? distribution step aside and take a break and then we still better get back in make sure you're staying hydrated okay it's very important to stay hydrated drink water during this uh distribution um everyone's wearing vests it's great it's important that we all have long sleeve shirts everyone's wearing long sleeves with the glove the mask at all times all right um symbols no all right we're gonna go into symbols um a couple of these uh, gentlemen here have been ladies have been with us couple of, for the past couple of days. There are symbols on the vehicles if you notice on the driver's side lower or passenger side lower windshield and the circle means one item, one box, one water. Uh, and that's all we have. Okay. And then um, the straight line means two. I mean, there's two families in the vehicle. Um, uh, so two uh, items each. And then three, the three points triangle are three items each, three families, and then four is a four points a square, uh, four items each that go into the vehicles. It's no contact distribution. Um, items are placed in the bed of the truck or either uh, in the trunk or the hatchback of the vehicle. Uh, I understand someone's going around now having them open it now because they'll they put it in there, close it, they're on their way. We ask everyone to stay in their vehicles, the windows rolled up as they move through the, the line here. We're going three cars. Okay, six, six cars. The first stop will be a little uh, right at the, the brown box. So we need three flaggers. Mm -hmm. And then we have cleaning products too. Uh, the second stop will be where the second batch of water begins. And the third stop is right around where this white box is. The, the so pole. Three stops, six people at a time. Um, those of you placing items in the vehicle, please, uh, flaggers, please. Uh, uh, Communicate with the people putting items in the bag and their guns to step away. Give them a thumbs up or go. Be a can move forward all the way through the line. All right. Does anyone have any questions? We have some cleaning products too. Okay, so we have, uh, we need three flaggers where uh, Sean identified where you're going to be. You're going to be right in the middle, bringing the vehicles doing? down, yeah. waving them down. Wherever you're at down there, that's where the vehicles will stop on both sides. So there'll be uh, six vehicles, two, two, two. And uh, we've been maxing out like two on other 
we're gonna go max out of four here. I think there's plenty. So four, if there's a square, give them four boxes, four, four water. And then elders, right? Elders get chemicals. the chemicals, cleaning the supplies. cleaning supplies, and the toiletries. And we have diapers. So you'll hear elders. Diapers, just call them out. Whoever's on C diaper, uh, doing the diapers, just let us know, and then we'll put them in. Any questions? All right, rock and roll. Three, three flaggers. Okay. You want to go away? Okay, I'll need a flagger right here, somebody. So we are at Fort Defiance in front of the field house, the old field house, getting ready to start. We have everyone lined up, everyone with their trucks open. And now we are starting. There goes the first vehicle. Second vehicle. All the way down. So we're here in Fort Defiance, front of the field house. We just started. This is the just the first couple of vehicles. We have CHRs. We have President Nez, Vice President Leiser, Council Delegate Wilson Stewart, National Guard, Division Directors, OPVP staff, and. Uh, Volunteers, community members. Okay, these three are good. And also the CHRs are giving out masks. And these little sandwich bags. And before they go down, we're having them open their trunks or their backs of the vehicles. If they're in a the truck, we throw in the flatbed of the truck. All right, we are here at Fort Defiance Chapter House for our food and supply distribution. As you can see, we have two rows of food and supplies here, plenty to go around. If you all are in the vicinity, come over 
we're at the old field house. The uh, field house is just right here. Uh, and we're right there amidst, right in the middle of Fort Defiance. So come and join us. Uh, we have two rows, so things are going to start moving pretty quick. We're doing six vehicles at a time. And we have the CXR helping us. We have the vice president here as well. You want to wave by vice president? We have uh, health promotion, CHR, Department of, Health, Department of Behavioral Mental Health Services. Of course, the, uh, the U.S. Army Office of the President, Vice President. Uh, Andy Nez is here from uh, Doty, and he's a local resident. Office of the President. Uh, I see Chuck Harper over there. Right, there's Chuck. <laughs> Chuck from uh, Cross Nations. And so, yeah, there's a lot. If you look, come around this way. You can see all these vehicles, and there's vehicles going down that way. So we're, we're trying to get all these individuals out of this parking lot right here, and then get the flow going. So they're doing a good job so far. Um, so once they get the groove, we're going to put another one on. So it'll be eight vehicles at a time. So we're actually challenging to each other. There's a little competition going between this group and this group too. So. It's all in fun, but uh, we are doing, uh, we are very careful in what we're doing. So thank you for watching. We're at Fort Defiance Chapter, right across from, right across from the, uh, the field house. So we got the vice president over here as well. Uh, say a few words and I'll take his place. Uh, today, vice president, my allies are here in his hometown, Fort Defiance, Arizona. I graduated in that building over there, Fighting Scouts, Prime. <laughs> hey, you gotta have fun, right? So, uh, what's a vice president to do in his hometown? Anyway, uh, we're happy we're here at the 108th chapter of the food distribution and cleaning supplies and PPE to the people. So, uh, from the office of President, Vice President, all the volunteers, Navajo Department of Transportation, uh, Army, uh, National Guard, uh, I could go on and on. I know I'm gonna leave somebody out, but uh, we appreciate the chapters. Uh, Honorable Delegate, uh, uh, Wilson is here in his home chapter here, so it's good to be here. Uh, good to see everybody. It's great weather. It's not too hot. It's nice and cool, brisk wind, and uh, gonna keep people cool. So, but you know, even at that, as, as uh, fun and collaborative as these are, we still uh, maintain that you know there is a uh, virus out here that's wreaking havoc across our land. Uh, be safe. Stay home. Stay safe. Save lives. Uh, keep your mask on, you know, clean your hands, clean all of your items and touch the dials, the buttons, the handles, uh, rewash, uh, sanitize continually. We want our people to stay safe. That's what this is all about. If we keep people at home, they don't have to go to the border towns. They can stay home and receive food. Uh, hopefully uh, make it last for a week or so, at least through the curfew, right? Uh, 57 hour curfew coming online here Friday to, uh, uh, in a couple of, well actually tomorrow, right? Friday at um, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. on Monday morning. And then we'll do another one uh, at the, the next weekend after that. So really the whole goal is to keep people home uh, where we're the safest, right? Amongst our family, uh, doing the things we love to do with family, uh, develop the stronger relationships, uh, work on projects at home. But really the whole key is staying out of uh, harm's way. Uh, staying home, stay safe. So, um, you know, President's been uh, exemplifying the uh, great uh, leadership that we're needing to get through this here. And at the same time, we're working, uh, we are with our 24th Naval Council and uh, strategizing on the budget and the spending of, uh, of now, as of today, uh, Department of Treasury released 27 million more dollars. And uh, we have now have in our coffers, uh, it's been uh, confirmed by our controller, um, uh, Perlene Kirk, that uh, we have now received just a little bit over $700 million to effect change, to fight COVID-19, to bring our health conditions up on here on Navajo to a better area, to a higher level. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. And so government, it just takes a little bit of work, takes a little bit of effort, right? Elbow grease, I say, but uh, we're working hard for you all, Shidana. Uh, we love you, we're praying for you, and um, we're also opening up opportunities to uh, bless the people with food, water, cleaning supplies for our most vulnerable, our elderly, and uh, those with predisposed health conditions. So uh, again, our, our president here, okay, look at that. That's what a leader down. looks like. Yeah. Everybody can say what they want, man, but that's it. That's why I follow, hold on this coattail. So appreciate his leadership. So Mr. President, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. So I appreciate it. 
And uh, these are the oh, benefactors, yeah. all the people here in Fort Defiance area. I bet they're from St. Michael's, Hunters Point, uh, Sawmill, Blue Canyon, Coal Mine, my yeah, hometown, Coal right Mine. Uh, also, Forty yeah, Finds, Winder Rock, uh, Navajo, Rabbit Brush. Are you here? Rabbit Brush, are you in the house? Yes. Uh, uh, reminds me of a KTNN commercial, right? 660s, KTNN, Rabbit oh. Brush, Sawmill, Hunter's Point. Anyway, be blessed, y'all. We love you. And we're uh, praying for our nation to come out stronger than ever. All right, we appreciate it. Thanks. I uh, appreciate our, our communications team. The man okay, behind the camera Trump, right now is Trump, Eli. And uh, he's uh, doing an awesome job, too. As well as Jared, as well as Chris Lynn. So I appreciate the whole team. I know we can go on and on thanking everybody, but everybody's really needed here. And uh, if we could extend that uh, um, air and that uh, air, just an air of, uh, of um, leadership and uh, an air of, uh, of uh, 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 how am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that if we volunteer our time, volunteerism is I'm trying to say, an era of volunteerism out to our people, but you know what, we'll be a real strong nation because when we're considering other people's uh, burdens uh, higher than our own, then uh, the nation advances. You, you don't know, oh man, I could see it, I could feel it now. I just feel like the Lord is telling me to, to let you all know that he loves us and that he's willing to fight for us and he is fighting for us. May his spirit arise and his enemies be scattered. That if we just love and bestow love to our neighbor, guess what? We cover everything. We cover the hate. We cover everything that's out there right now that's wanting to raise itself above everything that our Creator's doing. And if when he comes in like a flood, when the enemy comes in like a flood, God will come in and lift up a standard against that flood. In Jesus' name, that's what I feel like the Lord wanted me to share right now. So thank you all. Love you. Praying for you. God bless you. Navajo Nation. Kela. All right, we are here in Fort Defiance in front of the Phil House. We have two lines of vehicles going. One on the left that you see here on the screen and one on the right. We have CHRs, DBMHS, Naval Nation Council, National Guard, Chuck Harper, Doty, Volunteers, NDOT, Division of Natural Resources, Division Directors, and so, and so many more. Um, as you can see, we're all running vehicles. This is the probably the most vehicles we ever ran through a line. Which so this next we're gonna have um Wilson Stewart Jr. 24th Naval Nation Council Delegate come on. Wilson. Yeah. Uh, okay, good afternoon everybody. We are here in Fort Defiance, Tahotso. And Tahotso is right back there, that mesa back there, that mountain, the park, that's Tahotso. And uh, if you follow me on Facebook, I'm trying, I always tell you that's Tahotso. That's where it got its name from. And also, this is the community I represent. I'm Delegate Wilson Stewart Jr. Put something in and this is an event that sponsored by the president, the vice president, um, various divisions and programs, departments within the Navajo Nation that contribute their time and their efforts to come out here to the various communities of 110 chapters to uh, assist the families in those communities, the elders and the veterans and our young parents out there to help them during this pandemic. So I want to say thank you to all of you that have contributed to the Navajo Nation in that way with uh, monetary contributions, also with the materials like the food, the uh, uh, painting supplies, the water, everything. We appreciate it very much and everything that you have done to help us during this time pandemic. And we continue to ask for uh, blessing of that upon you and your families as well and those individuals out there. So thank you and thank you for the staff for being out here in the heat. And, uh, to, to, to assist us in that way we can't do without all of the support that we have including the military support that we have uh, to, to come out and help us in that way so thank you very much everybody out there uh, be safe this weekend we're going to lock down this weekend as well and curfew at 8 o'clock every day wear your mask remember wear your mask every day i think we're getting a little too lax and not wearing our mask we forget it sometimes but remember to always wear your mask wash your hands don't touch your face your mouth and your eyes and if you can wear gloves, make sure you know how to wear your gloves. That's all I have to say. Thank you again. That was 24th Naval Nation Council Delegate Wilson Stewart Jr. He's the council delegate for this area.
as you can see we're running through lines on two separate sides on that side one line this side's another line so we have the backs of the vehicles open we're gonna show you how they're gonna load up this vehicle right here so on each vehicle is a different symbol of a box supply so no contact distribution so we're loading it into the back of a vehicle if the vehicle is a car or a hatchback it usually goes into the back if the car trunk's too full then they'll try to put it in the back seat making sure the passengers of the vehicle stay in their vehicle i have andy nez who's from this fort defiance community He's passing out masks that the city cars are giving. All right, President Nez, that's loading up one car with supplies. So we have National Guard, Division Directors, Council, OPVP staff, Big showers. All the way down. All the way down. And so many programs, volunteers. This is the most vehicles we ever ran through a line, double sided. One, one line on the left of your screen, one line on the right. We have volunteers all the way back down that way, if you can see, directing traffic, telling vehicles where to park to get into line so this whole distribution is a whole network and organization that requires a lot of moving parts but in the end you know it's, it's all for the people to make sure that you know they have the necessary supplies to stay home stay safe Who's in charge today? Huh? Who's in charge today? For you guys? Who? With us, sir? Uh, who's in charge for you guys today? Sir Clementia, he's up front. members of National Guard on to talk about their experience. Excuse me, sir. Defiance in front of the field house. Trying to get someone from the National Guard. Kind of in, in the zone. Right now there's a small friendly competition going from that line over there to this line here. So just a little friendly distribution fun. But you know, in the end we're we're making sure everyone here gets much needed essential items cleaning supplies, food. Yeah. And if you guys can see, there's a line that goes all the way to the back. We have volunteers and people directing traffic back there, telling people where to come, where to park. We have so many donations from Moral Vision, donations that come to the Navajo Nation. Stuff that the chapter has bought. So we're in Fort Defiance. 
Arizona in front of the field house, the old field house. We have Wilson Stewart who's standing right here. He's di helping direct traffic. We have President Nez on the other side. We have Vice President Lizer who's in this line. We have National Guard on both sides. And uh, we have CHRs that are giving out masks. Oh yeah, we also have Miss Navajo here. She's right there across. We have some police officers. Just the whole team commitment, teamwork. We're loading into the back of the vehicle. We're riding one way up. Excuse me, sir. Are you in charge? Yes. You want to say anything to the camera on what your soldiers or what your unit has gone through with the chapters and what they experience? Uh, honestly, so we switch out squads every day, so I'm not sure what exactly each squad has done. But I know this today we've done uh, Pinon, and then today, uh, today where are we at here? Fort Defiance. Fort Defiance. Um, and that's and then uh, so we also the warehouse in. Uh, Window rack. We also go daily there to uh, pack packages like this. We'll put food in here, put them on pallets, and then they bring them up. The Air Force puts them on their truck and brings them out here. And that's pretty much that's pretty much all we do as far as like the like the window rack, like the reservation missions. And we also have the soldiers in Gala at, at some of the stores uh, handing out masks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's the U.S. National Guard. We have two lines that you guys will see on your screen. One line of vehicles to your right, one line of vehicles to on the left. This is the most vehicles we ever ran through a line. And right now the team is doing great, exceptional work. They're handling all the vehicles, making sure every vehicle gets their supplies, their mask. We have National Guard, President, Vice President. We have um, 24th Naval Nation Council Delegate Wilson Stewart. We have Miss Naval Nation, Officer President, Vice President Staff, CHRs, and uh, so many more. We have a line that goes all the way in the back. CHRs are passing out masks here. I'm pulling into the vehicles. Each vehicle has a symbol of what each vehicle will receive. We have put their mask on the outside on their little windows, on their window wipers, windshield wipers to make sure that you know we don't put it inside their vehicle. We have um, Department of Behavioral and Mental Health Services here. We have, and we have people directing traffic like Andy Nez who lives here in the community of Fort Defiance. But it's also from Department of Benet Education. We have, we have people directing traffic. We have 
two elderly women here. And we have a sign here. It says, thank you, stay safe. And we have President Nez that's walking right here in front of me. And we also have a poster contest design that um, if you submit your po um, poster design to, or if you go stand somewhere by your poster, get a picture, you can send it to us at our email, nnopvp, so nn as in anti nanti, opvp dot communications at gmail.com. If you submit your poster there, we'll look through it. A few winners, we might even highlight our favorite ones or give a shout out to everyone that submits a poster. It's a little contest that uh, uh, President and Vice President Lizer um, want to put on for the community and Navajo Nation, covering three main points of wear your mask, social distancing, and don't back down. If you guys have seen President Nez's TikTok, we have Chuck Harper right here from radio. We have CHRs. as they come in so the team is doing a great job doing fours and fours on each side so let's we'll see how that goes so. so we have vehicles coming here we're in Fort Defiance for everyone that's been to this place there's the old field house and a lot of people I see in the comments are Talking about their memories here. It's gonna be a all new memory here. You know, just food distribution, making sure everyone gets the necessary supplies. We have people, volunteers out here, directing traffic, telling people where to line up, which line they're gonna be in. You can see the line goes way to the back along the road. So this is the most the most vehicles we've ever ran through this line at any of our distributions. We do two lines. One on the left side, one on the right side. through some of the comments so we have um, this is two, right? we have 
nerve. And uh, here with us, Miss Navajo. We have CHRs, Fort Defiance, Chapter Staff, 24th Navajo Nation Council, Wilson Stewart Jr., President Nez, Vice President Weiser, CHRs, the National Guard. We're here in front of the old field house. We got Chuck Harper here from um, the radio. <laughs> we have a few community members that work here, that work for different uh, departments, programs. CHRs are delivering masks to each vehicle. They're passing them out right now. We have pampers, we have whites, water, cleaning supplies, food boxes, care packages, beans, flour, rice. We are beside the old field house in Fort Defiance. As you can see, the line is just getting more and more longer. As the, as everyone's more aware this is uh, open to everyone FYI it's open to everyone you don't have to be a registered voter for Fort Defiance it's open to everyone we care about everyone so it's an open event to the community surrounding areas example of yesterday is when we're in New Mexico we we well, ran out of places at one chapter. We told them where, go where we're going next. And the community members just went to the next stop and they got in line there for their supplies. So it's an open event to everyone. So if you know anyone in the area, let them know we're out here. Old Field House in Fort Defiance. You know, we're, we're here until all our supplies are gone. Shabala? Well, yeah, I'll go get them. Let's interview some of them. CX Shars are right there too. So we're going to have a, one of the CX Shars. Uh, we're going to get um, Division of Natural Resources first. <coughs> we're going to wait for these vehicles to come through. And we're going to get get yeah, a little more have a little more um, individuals talk here on the live stream so we're going to interview this CHR can you say something for the live stream That's one of the CA cars here for Fort Defiance, Winter Rock area. We're gonna interview. We're gonna interview one of the division directors. Have him say a few words. Doctor Shabala. 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 Prison wants you to give a few words. だけ uh, 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 u
All right, that was Dr. Rudy Shabala, Division Director for Division of Natural Resources that was just speaking. And in the comments, I saw some that uh, the camera's moving too fast. So I apologize. I'm trying to stay out of everyone's way, but also trying not to get hit with the, um, get in the way of the vehicles or a way of getting in the way of the supplies, CHRs, everyone that's here doing what they need to do. So I will, I apologize. I'll try to move the camera a little slower. Um, we're here in Fort Defiance, Arizona, by, by the old field house. Um, we saw every, early, everyone earlier that the, they had a lot of memories here at the field house, basketball games, events, so on. So we have National Guard right here. We have President Nez directing traffic but also helping putting supplies into the vehicles. We have National Guard, we have Vice President Leiser over there in the hat. We have um, Division of Behavioral and Mental Health Services. We have uh, CHRs who are helping put in uh, toiletry items. We have um, 24th Naval Nation Council Delegate Wilson Stewart Jr. who's the delegate for this area in Fort Defiance. Samuel Crystal. And we have um, Enda. We have, we have some volunteers from the local community. We have um, OPVP staff. The most vehicles we ever ran through in, in the line. Is it, there's a little friendly competition going on between the line you see on the left and the line you see on the right. Just a little friendly fun, but in the end, you know, we're, we're making sure everyone gets their supplies before they head on out. So no, this is an open event to all. You don't have to be a registered voter. All you would do is just get in line way in the back. If you can see back there, get in line, provide your name, and they'll give you a symbol that you'll see here on this truck that's pulling up. They'll, so they'll give you a symbol and they'll and they'll tell you to get in line and you just pull on up and you'll be loaded with supplies like right here vice president Leiser is putting in supplies with the national guard so no it's open to everyone you don't have to be a registered voter of fort defiance The CXRs, they're distributing masks that they have in little sandwich baggies. <laughs> he has a, has a little Santa Claus on, beard on. I guess that's his mask, it's his beard. <laughs> he, he made his mask as a beard. And close beer. So we're, we're here, we have um, President Nez directing some traffic through and Fort Defiance in front of the old field house. The line continues to grow. We have this whole parking lot was full earlier. We, we're running through two lines. And for anyone that needs a mask, um, you can contact the Health Command Operations Center here in Winder Rock, Arizona. Phone number 928-871-7014. Okay, once again, that's 928-871-7014. If you need masks, ask them, give them a call, ask about masks. 
and therefore they'll tell you how they can send you masks or help deliver masks to your area, to your family or to your community. And that was uh, one thing we found out um, yesterday. Uh, if everyone was watching live stream yesterday uh, from the Mexico side, the phone number is 928-871-7014. As yesterday we um, found out they updated their to their old number, original number, when we were in New Mexico. right now is um, trying to feed the communities. President's initiative was trying to hit all 110 chapters. He's at 109 right now, so we have one more chapter left to go. So uh, be safe out there and please use the items that you guys pick up wisely. If you don't have a need for it, give it to somebody who needs it, okay? So thank you very much and um, please remember and pray for the individuals who also donated um, to these our communities. All of the items that we have most of the items we have are donations from all over the place we have donations that came in from all the way from the east coast from maine north carolina uh, michigan all these areas they, they did um, donations and um, pray for our people out there that we can get through this virus that is killing a lot of our people so stay safe out there and always remember to use prevention all right thank you everyone if someone needs mental health. Oh, if anyone needs uh, mental health, um, well, anything uh, with the anxiety, the um, stress behind all that's happening, we have offices throughout the Navajo Nation. Our local office here in Fort Defiance, you can call them at 928-729-4012. And that's the local community here that we're serving as far as Fort Defiance. And Fort Defiance covers the communities all the way from uh, steamboat to um, into the um, New Mexico area and then to Crystal and all the surrounding areas right here. So remember that number 928-729-4012. That's the main line. And thank you guys. So that was uh, one of the staff from Division of Behavioral and Mental Health Services talking about um, how to deal with if you need someone to talk to, to call their phone number here in Fort Defiance or just needing someone to talk to through the anxiety, stress, dealing with COVID, how, how the family's been dealing, you know, give them a call, Division of Behavioral and Mental Health Services. We'll try to get that phone number for you again here in a bit. See, we have National Guard, we have President Nez right here putting supplies into a box. It looks like the box fell apart. We have CHRs, we have w Wilson Stewart from Naval Nation Council, 24th Naval Nation Council. We have, C we have another CHR here. We have the National Guard. And this event is open to the public. You don't have to be a registered voter here in Fort Defiance. It's open to everyone. So in the words of um, Vice President, you know, come one, come all. <laughs> okay, we're coming down to the very end of the line. You can see that. And so we're here in front of Fort Defiance, Old Field House. So we have Enda up there. So here we're gonna have the National Guard 
Load up into the back of this vehicle. No, no contact delivery. So we're getting, I believe it's an elder that's driving herself. So she's getting a few boxes. <laughs> then there's a little friendly competition going here between the the line you see on the left and the vehicles that you see on the right. Just a little friendly competitive one, but in the end, the the community, families, the people of the nation are getting their much needed supplies for this weekend's curfew, 57 hour weekend lockdown. Coming down to the very end, few vehicles left. So after this distribution, we are done with 109 chapters with one chapter being left which will be Tuba City tomorrow. We will be at the uh, Tuba City Fairgrounds. So 109 chapters done, one chapter left, which will be Tuba City, which will be tomorrow. So if anyone knows anyone in the Tuba City area or surrounding area, please let them know. We'll be in Tuba City tomorrow. Also giving out um, diapers, baby wipes, face masks, care packages, water, toiletry items, cleaning supplies, uh, rice, beans, flour, paper towels, cereal, I believe, produce. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are on to the end. Kind, of, kind, of kind of getting towards the end there, and then, um, but there's plenty of boxes still here. Those of you that are in the vicinity, come on over, get a box, and don't have to be a registered voter. Don't have to be a registered voter. Yeah, you don't have to be a registered voter. You don't even have to be a Navajo. So those of you that are non-Navajos that are at the uh, schools or at the hospital, come on over. Uh, you know, we're trying to help people out. Everybody's needing some help. You know, the uh, shopping centers are going to be closed this weekend. Stores are going to be closed. Why don't you come over? It's almost 5 o'clock. We'll be here probably 5.30. Uh, and come on over. Get a box. Tell their those uh, workers that are working till 5 to come on over in TUA. Uh, the, the school, the uh, healthcare facility. Come on over and get your box. All right. Thank you. So uh, we'll uh, start winding down here. Tomorrow we'll be in Tuba City at 10 a.m. at the fairgrounds. Tuba City fairgrounds at 10 a.m. So come and join us in Tuba City, and that's going to be the 110th chapter. You know. Western Agency, strong people out there, you know, and so uh, come out and join us tomorrow at the fairgrounds in Tuba City, 10 a.m. And uh, yeah, we're still, still coming in. So uh, uh, Eli, maybe another five minutes. Ten All right. minutes. All right. All right. So if you are just joining us, or if you missed that message, Tuba City Fairgrounds tomorrow at 10 a.m. As that will be. The 110th 
tenth chapter. We kind of started in the rural chapters in the beginning, starting with the with the communities and families that lived that didn't live too close to a supermarket, a store. We just kind of started out in the surrounding areas. They started working our way back in. So I as to yesterday you seen us around um, Farmington, Shiprock area, close Upper Fruitland, San Juan chapter. Let's do two extras. We did Pinon this morning. Now we're here in Fort Defiance, right here at the old um, old field house. So tomorrow, Tuba City Fairgrounds at 10 a.m. As that will be the 110th chapter out of 110. Right now we are 109 once this is over. You know, National Guard has been a huge, huge help. Um, since they've been out, we've been able to give some of the volunteers and staff a break, much needed break, as they kind of filled in for those roles that we started off with in the beginning some of our staff, some of the division staff, volunteers, community members, community leaders. So now we're, they were a huge, huge help. We have Wilson Stewart here from 24th Navajo Nation Council. He's a council delegate for this area. We have CHR, we have um, Vice President Lizer being interviewed over there from Chuck Harper. If you guys know Chuck in the in this surrounding area. We have a few volunteers that want to donate their personal, their own personal time. So if you, does, if anyone knows anyone in Fort Defiance area from NTUA hospital, or that lives close by, let them know we're out here in Fort Defiance by the Oldfield House. You know, it's an open event. You don't have to be a registered voter. Even if you're non-Navajo, non-native, you know, we still want you to come out, pick up your supplies because the supermarket, stores, gas station, everything will be closed this upcoming weekend after tomorrow starting at 8 p.m. for the 57 our weekend curfew so we're gonna be here until 5 30 6 o'clock until so if you know anyone in the area let them know we're out here in fort defiance old field house So I have this Navajo here that's loading up a box. No contact delivery. We're putting everything into the back of the vehicle. So we're gonna be here until 5.30. Six o'clock. We're gonna try to give out as much as we can. So probably to our very last box is gone. So if you guys know anyone here in the area, let them know. You know, it's an open event to all.
So here we have. So in Fort Defiance, it's in front of the old field house, which is right across the Totem, uh, I believe, elementary school. So the old field house in Fort Defiance. We are right out in the front. Still have a lot of supplies here, so if you're in the area or know anyone in the area, let them know we're out here and just to swing on by. We have um, Vice President Lizer over there, still being interviewed. So we will be here until we have a few boxes to, that are left to give out. So hopefully it is... It is 5 o'clock now. Sorry, I had to check my watch. So we're going to be here till like 5.30, maybe 6 o'clock. Hello everybody, my name is Shandine Parrish, I'm a Sabo Nation, 2018-2020, and we are here in Fort Defiance. Um, we're dwindling down to the last few cars for today. So this morning we were in Kenyon, and now we're out here um, in Fort Defiance. We're here with Sabo Nation Department of Transportation, the Office of the President, Vice President. We're also here with the New Mexico National Guard, um, the Army, and the Air Force branches. Um, so the real troopers were sticking with us in Kenyon and now out here in Fort Defiance. We're also joined by um, council delegate, um, Stephen oh, asking about the face mask. Oh, everybody's asking about the mask again. So I got my mask from um, Crown Point Elementary School and yep, Mr. Crown Point Elementary School. So the two uh, royalty from the Crown Point Elementary School District, they, they gifted it to me, so they sent it by mail to the office in the Smiles Nation, and it's a, it's a fitted mask. It has a, a metal piece in here that I can press, and it'll fit. Um, it's, a, it's like, it has an elastic that goes around my head, so it keeps my ears protected. Um, it also has an N95 mask on the inside. <laughs> so uh, I just want to say thank you to the parents of Mr. and Ms. Crown Point Elementary School. They're brother and sister, so it's really nice of them to to uh, to, to mail that to me because uh, this is a awesome looking mask with our with our seal on it. <laughs> so that's why I got my mask. Um, tomorrow, they're asking where tomorrow is. Huh? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow we'll be in the city. Tomorrow, it's one of the We'll be um, there at 10 a.m. So fairgrounds, fairgrounds. At, the, at the fairgrounds. Yeah, so we'll be at the Western Navajo Nation fairgrounds tomorrow in the city. did receive her mask. It was shipped to her from, I believe she said Crown Point. But, um, tomorrow we'll be in Tuba City, at the Tuba City Fairgrounds at 10 a.m. So as you can see, we're kind of dwindling down now at the end.
right, I'm gonna make one more pass through and then give the give it back over to President Ness. be here until the last car does show up we don't know what time that will be probably six five thirty six o'clock For next week next week we'll we'll um, reorganize re get everything together so pay attention to our social media um, our Facebook Instagram Twitter like we're starting to slow down by if, if anyone in the area Fort Defiance area Window Rock area St. Michael's or any of the surrounding communities that, that are close let them know this is an open event to all you don't have to be a registered voter I'll say that again you don't have to be registered as um, we're open to all including um, non-Navajos if you know anyone at the hospital NTUA or in the that works in the surrounding area, let them know we're here in Fort Defiance at the old field house. We're giving out um, boxes of food, cleaning supplies, water, diapers, baby wipes, canned food, rice, beans. So if someone wants to get here around six, we'll still, we'll, I'm pretty sure we'll still be here as we still have a lot of boxes that we've been wanting to give out. As you can see, this whole left side is almost completely done. So this left line, as this right side, we still have all these boxes here. So the question is when we're giving out to all non-native or non navajos yes we do give them out at various um, people that came through at various chapters we had a, a few vehicles usually they're they're like um in-laws um marriage they're doing a pickup for their families So we're coming down to the last vehicles. We're gonna remain here for another 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I was told until six. So we're coming down to the last couple of vehicles, but there's more vehicles coming in. What they're gonna do is you pull up 
way in the back. You're gonna give them your name. You're gonna get a symbol on your vehicle like you see here on this white car. And they'll tell you where to come in and where to and how to line up. So we are still here in Fort Defiance in front of the old field house. So we will be here for another 30 minutes, hour, hour and a half. So tomorrow, 10 a.m., Tuba City Fairgrounds. Once again, that's 10 a.m. in Tuba City at the fairgrounds, at Western Navajo Fairgrounds.